St. Jean, all NBA guys uh, were a part of our coaching staff. So, yeah, man, it was it was just a great opportunity, a great fit for me. get a bigger role. So I ended up going to Pitt, went there for two years. It was cool, um, did solid, not as well as I wanted to do. You know, we had a coaching change and that's always, you know, kind of hard, but ended up doing my last year at Hartford for my grad year. It was killing, I was, I think I averaged 20 and, and 10. And uh, took my team all the way to the championship, but then COVID hit and you know, that whole thing was crazy. They canceled all the, the March Madness. We were like, we were supposed to go to March Madness. We were gonna be the first. Um, it was gonna be the first time in school history that that happened. So, just for everything, just to shut down as fast as it did, it was crazy. Ended up. Uh, going to Atlanta and ended up getting on with them with the G League and from there man it just it, it skyrocketed like in December I got called up by the Hawks um, right on Christmas Day played in the garden and you already know that was a dream come true that was the best Christmas gift I could have ever asked for and um, just seeing guys like Julius Randle playing against you know all them dudes Spike Lee courtside it was just like everything that you see on Christmas Day when you watch it on ESPN and ABC so that was a wild experience for me. Just, I was I was so thankful I got to get it off the guy, you know what I mean? And um, all the hard work that I put in last year, you know, my trainer Davis, um, we got it in. And now, you know, the goal is after such a, a successful rookie year that I had with Atlanta, you know, just taking that extra step now, keep elevating every single year. And we've been getting it in since I got back in April. Um, I'm talking two a days, three a days, all that, thousands of shots every single day, really focusing on like what I need to do 
um, to take my game to that next level. So, yeah, man, that's the journey. It's been it's been crazy, but you know, I've learned so much through it and I've grown and it's made me a, a better person and also a way better player. So I'm just excited to see what's next for me. Need a spot? It's the ball. Enjoy it? It's the ball. Let's see if it's on the height. See what it's talking about. With, um, yeah. I do the salmon lock. Lock. On a egg white. Sure. Right here. A little post workout. Got the vegan kale smoothie. Take all the juice blends out. Add some peanut butter. That's, that's the go-to. Let's go win the day. Get one percent better. What we got? Who do we got? Family out three. One, two, three. Family. A lot of you guys, when you guys are going, we're going one speed, right? So like right now, if I'm going one speed, I'm not reacting. I'm standing right here. So let's go one speed. I'm not reacting. I'm going one speed, right? Now change a little speed. As you a little bit. He's freezing. I'm rising up. That's what you want to do. You want to get the defender to rise up, and then you go by him. If you're going one speed, I'm gonna stay down the whole time. I ain't going nowhere. All right, so make him rise up. Don't move that foot, but make sure you're coming up slow and then explode out. Um, so, you know, me and, me and Malik linked up uh, late last summer. You know, we started talking a little bit just about um, how he's preparing for his upcoming season in the G League with the uh, Atlanta Skyhawks. He's just um, staying ready, you know, trying to expand on his game a little bit and um, become a player that makes an impact in a variety of ways um, in addition to the stuff that he already brings. Now we see each other about four days a week, um, you know, at least probably three, two a days a week. Sometimes he's in there three times a day, um, you know, but I always see him four days a week, sometimes five. He's, you know, he's, he wants to take an extra day just to get some extra work in. Um, but I'll be honest, like that's really just the, the scratch in the surface as far as like the work that he puts in. And that's really why I think our relationship has grown because I just respect the hell out of, you know, who he is as a person and how much consistency in his work he has for every single day. I um, mean, obviously he has goals and things that he wants to do and, and reach, but because of the amount of work that he puts in and growth that he puts in on a regular basis, that's why he's going to make it. Hey, let's move the ball. Another great day. 
Campers went hard. Now it's time for me to recover. Oh, trying to get these boots. I'm guessing for the Hawks. Sixers, actually. Ah. But I played with the Hawks last year. Okay. With them, yeah. Oh, man. You going to Vegas? Yeah, yep. Yeah. There's still a party out there. Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely done. Thank you. are probably with a shooting guard or something. I mean, I only need this little money. have it this is like a day in the life for me um, two workouts had a camp today and I uh, just got some recovery you know you got to take care of the body so man I'll see you guys next time getting ready for summer league signing out